Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's see how a dielectric affects a capacitor when we take a dielectric and place it inside a capacitor where before there was only air. If there's already charge in the capacitor, but the capacitor is not connected to a battery. This means that the charge must remain the same through the process and that the voltage across the capacitor will probably change because the electric field will change and we know that the electric field and the voltage have something in common, there's a relationship between them and you'll see in just a moment that yes, if you put an electric in there, the voltage will drop and the charge will remain the same. So how does that change the capacitance of the capacitor? Well, we know that before we place the dielectric in there, the capacitance is going to be equal to the ratio of the charge placed on the capacitor divided by the potential difference. And let's put the sub-zero everywhere because we can say that initially, the initial capacitance will be equal to the initial charge onto the capacitor divided by the potential difference that was placed before on the capacitor before we removed the, the, the battery that provided the potential difference. So now we take the dielectric and we place it inside the capacitor. So what is going to change? Well, take a look here. If we have a capacitor plate that has a certain amount of charge on the capacitor plate, so let's say like this, we know that the electric field perpendicular away from the surface of an infinite plate E sub naught, and I'll call it the initial electric field, is going to be equal to the charge density divided by epsilon sub naught, and the charge density is going to be equal to the initial charge on the plate divided by the area. So that would be the initial electric field emanating from the, the one of the plates. Okay, now we place a dielectric in there, and how is that going to change things? So if we now place a dielectric above there, you can now see that the electric field inside the dielectric, so E final is now going to be the final charge density divided by, now it's going to be K times epsilon sub naught because now we have a dielectric there. But notice that the final charge density must be equal to the initial charge density because after we remove the battery, no more charge can be added or taken away from the capacitor plates. So in this case, we can say that's equal to the initial charge density divided by K times epsilon sub naught which is equal to the initial charge divided by k epsilon sub naught times a. Now notice that q initial, the initial charge divided by epsilon sub naught and a, that is equal to the initial electric field. So if we replace that, we can then say that the new electric field is going to be equal to the initial electric field divided by the dielectric constant. So if the dielectric constant is 2, you'll have half the electric field strength. If K is 3, you'll have one-third electric field strength. So you see that the new electric field, or the final electric field, is going to be only a fraction of the original electric field if you put a dielectric between the plates. Now also you realize that uh, E can be defined as the change in potential divided by the distance between them, or in this case we can say that potential difference is equal to E times D. So initially, before we put the dielectric in there, we could say that the initial potential difference is equal to E initial times D, and the final potential difference is going to be equal to E final times D, and E final, of course, is E initial divided by K, so V final is going to be equal to 1 over K times E initial times D, which is the initial voltage, so this is 1 over K times the original voltage. So you can also see by putting a dielectric in there, when the capacitor is not connected to the battery, the potential across the plates will drop by a factor of K. K is 2, you have half the potential difference. K is 3, you'll have one third of the potential difference. So now when we want to find the final capacitance, capacitance final, that'll be equal to Q final over V final, but remember, since the charge has nowhere to go because it's no longer connected, Q final will be equal to Q initial, so this will be equal to Q initial divided by V final, and V final is equal to 1 over K times V initial, and of course, divide by 1 over K is the same as multiplying by K, so this is equal to K times Q initial divided by V initial, and Q initial divided by V initial was the initial capacitance, which means the final capacitance is equal to K times the initial capacitance, so it doesn't matter like in the previous video, when we place the dielectric between the capacitor plates when it was connected to a battery, or if we do it when it's not connected to a battery, 
In either case, you can see that the new capacitance will simply be K, the dielectric constant, times the old capacitance. In both cases, you get the exact same result. So this shows that no matter what happens to the capacitor, if it's connected or not connected, when you place a dielectric in between the plates, you will increase the capacitance by the factor of the dielectric constant. That's how we do that.